Today I'm doing three looks, one palette with the Nabla So Blooming. So if you're interested in that, well, keep on watching. Hello guys, hi, my name is Mia and this is my virtual vanity, a place where we both love makeup and we're quite critical of it. And today I'm going to do a three looks, one palette with the Nabla So Blooming, my favorite palette of life or well, it counts among one of my favorites, which incidentally are like 50% or 70% Nabla. I know I have an issue, but I could do drugs, so it definitely could be worse. But yeah, I am going to show you how I came up with these looks over here. And I hope you guys will enjoy it and that it will be useful to you. So let's get on to the looks. Taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm going into Bolero, which is this pink on the upper right corner over here. I'm putting it into my crease. Slowly diffusing everything. I'm going to add another layer of Bolero, same fluffy brush. This time with more pressing motion than feathery blending motion. And blend. Another fluffy blending brush. I'm taking flowery and putting it into the corner of my eye up to half of my crease. I kind of like that when using the two, when you blend them, you kind of get this violet sort of color. It's really pretty. Okay, up next, with a packing brush, I'm going to take Anemone, this shimmery blue in the corner and put it all over my lid. Starting to think this might not have been the best brush for the job. Oh well. I'm, I'm winging it a bit subtly so it doesn't quite end at this edge of my eye over here. Taking another blending brush, I'm taking still anemone and blending it into the pink above. I'm going to add another layer of anemone with the same packing brush, brush still on my eyelid. Yeah, this shade definitely performs better with a finger. I hadn't used it in a while. I'm going to take a smaller, pointier brush and I'm gonna take a bolero and put it on my lower lash line. Then anemone. And I'm putting this on the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm going 
to take Philosophy, which is this duochrome over here in between Flowery and Caravaggio and put it in the corner of my eye. Hmm. And maybe I'll put a bit in the middle of my eyelid over anemone. I'm curious how it would look like. With this I'm using my finger because it is a bit loosely pressed than the others. Oh, that's pretty. That 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 is pretty. So it's got now this kind of teal reflect which I really enjoy. I'm going to do my other eye and then we'll get going to the next. I am back for the second look. Let's hope the camera angle is good. Okay, I am going to take the shade Chamomile with a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna put it in the crease up here, right where my eyelid meets uh, the socket. I find that this is a really pretty setting shade, but it still has a bit of a tint to it. A smaller fluffy blending brush. I'm going to take Gia or Gia, whatever you want to pronounce it. So this uh, sort of black milk with tea color in and put it right where I put chamomile before. But more so, I'm not gonna put it all over the crease, I'm just gonna end it somewhere around here. Like, I'm gonna put it in the first two thirds of my crease because I want to put a pink over here on the outer V and I don't want them to muddy up. I mean, I don't think they would anyway, but Better safe than sorry, you know. Did another fluffy brush. You know, I do love my fluffy brushes. I just cannot without them. I'm going to take Bolero and I'm going to add it to the outer V of my eyelid and push it a bit towards the edge. So it can show up a bit. I like these that they're kind of they're powdery but they're also quite pigmented so they, they tend to fluff out very nicely without any fallout at least the mattes with my finger I'm going to grab the shade honey drip and put it all over the lid to grab climbing rose still with my finger climbing rose is this uh, beautiful pinky tone over here you can use a packing brush uh, a flat brush something of the sort I just really enjoy using my fingers and I'm going to add this shade on my outer corner so the last third of my eyelid and blend it in This is how it looks until now. Okay, grabbing a smaller bluff brush and to add more bolero in my outer V. So this shade over here. And put it a bit over climbing rose too. So like this. Put this on my lower lash line as well. And this is it for this look, quite uh, easy and simple, but very rosy. I quite like it. If you really want something a bit deeper, you could grab Caravaggio, which is this coffee shade over here, and put it with a fluffy brush in the outer V, but I'm not in the mood for anything too deep today, so 
basically that's it I'm gonna go do the rest of the eye and return actually no I'm gonna add maybe a bit of eyeliner because this could use some eyeliner I'm going to use the NYX epic ink liner and let's see if I fuck it up because I'm not used I, I got used to the essence liner which was it had a bit of a thicker brush, so let's see if I fuck this up or not. It really helps if you have your elbow um, on a like on a table or on the edge of your mirror or somewhere that's um, a flat surface that can keep your hand steady. And also, the movement should come from the whole hand, like it's like painting. Like, you, you don't use your wrist like this, this is no good, you have to use your whole hand to do strokes and that helps you keep your hand steadier. Okay, let, let's see if I fuck this up just after I gave you this whole mini tutorial. Keeping this over here very thin, be, yeah of course, I'm, I'm not in focus, fuck my life. I'm keeping this thing over here very thin because I don't have a lot of lid space and I don't want it to be taken all up by the liner itself. Now I'm slowly starting to go up. Whew. I did it! I did it! It's like my hand trembled at the end but we're good. Nobody's gonna notice behind my glasses anyway. Now we fill this shape in. Okay, so um, it's not the best eyeliner I've ever done, but it works. I'm gonna go do my either other eye, and then we'll get on to the other look, which I'm gonna do tomorrow. A fluffy blending brush I'm going to grab Gia and put it all over my crease oh too way I picked up a bit too much but we'll be able to blend it out so ha have no fear have no fear we're, s we're somehow gonna fix this <laughs> Then I'm going to grab a bolero with the same fluffy brush and put it not so up in the crease towards the brow but rather more towards uh, the middle of my eye. Now I grab too little, ugh. Okay, now it's better. Just gently blending so I have that gradient going from pink to sort of a uh, pinkish nude. With a smaller, more precise brush, I am grabbing Middle Karma and putting it in the outer V. Middle Karma is this uh, mid-tone brown. Take a bit on my finger and put it more on the lid, on the outer third of the lid because I like I like putting mats there with my finger a lot because I get a bit more control okay there we are I'm also going to add middle karma on my lower lash line With another tiny blending brush, I am going to grab Caravaggio and put it still in the outer V. Caravaggio is this dark, sort of intense, chocolatey, coffee brown. And I'm, I'm gonna try to be light-handed here, because this can easily overpower anything else. I missed a spot somewhere. 
finger or alternatively you can use a flat packing brush I'm grabbing a garden gate this purple teal sort of duochrome and putting it all over the lid Still with my finger or a flat packing brush, I'm grabbing Garçon, the matte, sh uh, the sorry, the brown shimmer. I'm putting it at the exterior of my eye on the outer third, putting it out lightly into Garden Gate. I'm going to take Philosophy, this a white to pinkish teal duochrome, and put it in the oil inner corner of my eye and this is the final look I'm gonna go do the rest of my eye and uh, we are basically done for all three days okay these were the three looks I hope you guys enjoyed it you can see detailed photos of the looks on my Instagram page which uh, you know, it was kind of linked at the start of the video, but here it is as well for um, your consideration. Um, I just want to plug a couple of things first before going. Like, this highlighter is just so gorgeous. It's from Igneous Cosmetics, which is one of my fave indie brands, and I do recommend checking them out, if only for this fucking gorgeousness on my cheeks. Uh, I think that was all I wanted to plug. I know I said a few things, but I lied. I hope you guys have a great day. See you the next time. Bye-bye.